I'm your host, Logan23. You're joining me for Frisk Me, Chapter 8. As Anthony opens the door to the Moretti family home, you feel a twist of nerves not up in your stomach. Sunday dinners weren't exactly a common experience in my family. I just hope I don't mess this up. As though sensing your nerves, Luke reaches out and takes your hand in his. You can't help but blink in surprise at the touch of his firm yet gentle hand against your own. Come on, Ava. It's, uh, just a bit of kindness. You're gonna need it. You're about to be sucked into the Moretti Vortex. I'll say... Thanks, I appreciate it. His eyes soften. Of course, I know this kind of stuff is new to you, and I respect that. It's not like I was gonna throw you to the wolves. For your own safety, you should know I'm uh, the charming one of my family. Is that so? Sure it is. You've already met Anthony. I'll say... I haven't met the rest of your family yet. Trust me, they're just as bad. Arguably worse. You really know how to psych a girl up, don't you? Fortunately for you, you'll have me backing you up. Alright, I guess I'm ready when you are. Slip your hands into his, oddly comforted by the sensation of his fingers against yours. He smiles warmly before leading you inside. You're still holding hands when the two of you reach the sounds of fighting, laughing, and yelling all at once. But all noise suddenly stops, and the family sees you've arrived. You quickly tug your hand away, but not before his entire family has seen exactly what's going on. Guessing that's what you get with a family of cops. They're not going to miss a thing. Still, even if they saw it, none of them are rude enough to come in. Dad, Luke's mom walks over to him, a huge smile on her face. Bambino! Ma. He moves towards her, kissing both cheeks. Bambino? It, uh, means baby. Lucas, the youngest of the family. His sister explains while sweeping you into a big hug. Oh. Yes, we do that. We like to blame it on the Italian, but mostly we're just pushy. You guys, um, know what I'm doing here, right? So you're showing the world just what kind of man my son is. Of course we know. We couldn't be more thrilled. Hi, Dad. Son. Ava, you have let... have to let me show you my, the house. And please, you know you're welcome here anytime. Ma, how about some uh, introductions before you start monogramming her uh, a towel? With a smile, Luke turns to you, ready to introduce his family. Ava, these women who ambushed you are my mother, Maria, and my sister Ella, or Elenia. The grump in the corner with the social skills of an eggplant is my brother Vincent. Look who's talking, bro. And then there's my dad, Tony, and his namesake, Anthony, and whom you've already met. We're getting someone bambino. And just saving the best for last, no no. The old crow cutting tomatoes is uh my grandmother. Her name's Teresa, but I'm pretty sure she'll insist you all call her. No no. It was my idea to invite you. Remember that when you're deciding who to give the most screen time to in your little TV special. I'll say You can take the screen time Luke doesn't want. A little Luke always did like his privacy. Good. He deserves to have it. Well, I'll be more uh, than happy to fill up the remaining airtime. No, no, what are you doing to the tomatoes? You're mangling them. Shosh, you never do a good job releasing the juices. 
those juices are all over my floor. So I'll clean it. You're 82! But I do yoga, which is more than I can say about some people. You can tell exactly by the looks being exchanged between the Moretti siblings that this kind of argument is fairly standard. What's going on? If you're worried if they're going to kill each other, maybe. I'm so glad you're here. I never get any girl company. Uh, thanks, that's really sweet, but honestly, I'm just surprised how friendly you all are. Well, we've always believed in familial kindness. Really, you can ask me anything. Anything, huh? I'll ask. Are there more any men as good as the ladies? With their ladies as they seem. So you're the only non cop in the family never tempted? What about Luke? I'm gonna go with non cop in the family never tempted. Hell no. For starters, Dad wouldn't let me because he lives in the Middle Ages. Because he loves his only daughter. But it's never been my dream job anyway. What is? I'm an attorney. Defense. Four brothers and a father on one side of the law, and a lone sister on the other. I can see how that might lead to a tricky family dynamic. Dinner should be ready soon. Would you mind helping set the table? Of course not. Doesn't take long before you're all gathered around the dining room table, eagerly digging into the meal before you. Miss Moretti, this roast is amazing. And the pasta! If you like this, you should come to my place for some good cooking. I don't dry out my meat. I'm glad you like it, dear. And please call me Mariah. Thanks. I, I'd like that. You're, uh, from Ohio, right? Oh, Oklahoma. Okay, no offense, but aren't uh, those, like, the same thing? Oh, that's cute. Oklahoma has big sprawling fields and a ton of tornadoes. Ohio does not have the tornadoes and big city. Spoken like a true city boy. You've got me pegged there, I guess. Been my whole life here in New York. See that you're from a small town. Very. New York's a big change. Did you come specifically for your career? The question is innocent enough, but there's something in his tone that tells you to answer carefully. Yes. I came for my professional development. New York is definitely the hub for uh, broadcast journalism. Mmm, it's the hub of a lot of things. Why this profession? Dad, you're being weird. And he merely lifts a shoulder and takes a bite of pasta as Luke glares at him. You don't like reporters, Mr. Moretti. Well, now, I don't know if I'd say that. I'm definitely not convinced of their purpose. Dad! Tony! Luke stays silent, but the glare he shoots his father is deadly. I'll say... Sometimes I feel the same. Especially with all the fluff pieces they've had me doing. I one would understand if you're worried this would uh, could be making light of your profession. It's fair that you all would have concerns. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Okay, I got one. I think we all know why Luke was chosen for this article over the cops, the face, the smile, the jumping into rivers. What I want to know is, is how you're going to stretch Luke's good deeds into three hours worth of television. Well, it won't just be Luke. He'll be the focus, but we'll also be talking about the NYPD, law enforcement as a whole. We want to get the complete picture of both Luke and the entire NYPD. Who is Luke Moretti off-camera? What's his journey been like from police commissioner's youngest son to officer? The silence in the room is deafening. What the hell? I thought that would put them at ease. But it seems like they're even more nervous now. So you're planning to dig into his past? Well... If there's something you want me to leave out, I will. No. We have nothing to hide. 
He looks around the table as if to say, right, and yet another, not a single member of his family meets his eye. To your surprise, Luke just looks just as confused as by this as you feel. Something's going on here. Something about Luke or this whole family that I'm not supposed to know. And seeing how nervous everyone looks, my guess is it's just below the surface. The only question is, what are they so determined to keep hidden? Oof, pursue this lead. Let it go. Yeah, what are you going to do? Sit at their ta dinner table and be like, so, what are you guys hiding? I should let it go. Probably nothing. And even if it was something, it's not my place to snoop. I'm a guest in this family's home, and I should act as such. Thank you. The rest of dinner is calm, peaceful, and despite some awkwardness, the Moretti family is warm and loving as you depart. You weren't so bad as he let on. In fact, you're still thinking about them on the ferry ride back with Luke. The Morettis are everything a family should be. The bolstering mother, the mouthy grandmother, the overbearing yet warm patriarch, the squabbling yet protective siblings. They're lovely. I didn't even know families could be like that. I wasn't exaggerating when I told Luke my family is in the wholesome dinner time. I doubt my family could even survive a dinner together like that. The cold breeze snapped you back to reality and you can't help but shiver. I wish I had a coat to give you. I'm glad you don't. I'm gonna have to start thinking of you as a nice guy. He turns, leaning against the side of the railing to face you. Still not convinced, huh? Let's just say the jury's still out on that one. Half the time you're buying me flowers and holding my hand, the other you're jumping down my throat. What can I say? You've got a way about you. Meaning? Meaning I don't know whether to kiss you or strangle you. That's most relationships. The first one, please. The thought pops unbidden in your mind and you do your best to shove it away. Bad idea, very lovely, but bad idea. So your grandma's something else. Yeah, she likes you already. I take it as a compliment. The last one uh, I br one of us brought up to dinner ended up getting interrogated about a rather obvious boob job. No, no one wanted to know if the implants could double as a flotation device in case of water landing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. I like Nona. Wow, thanks for the warning, but I think I'm safe there. When I was helping her clear the table, she said she knew some excellent push-up bra brands to recommend. What, is she trying to say you don't have boobs? Sorry about that. Her, uh, sense of boundaries are non-existent. I liked her. She's not exactly the warm maternal figure I associate with Italian families, but Nona walks to the beat of her own drum. I hope I can be that smuggy when I'm her age. Somehow, I doubt that will be a problem. I can't imagine you as a sweet or docile at any age. Oh, sweet's not really part of my job description, but luckily, we journalist types tend to get a free pass. Yeah. Yep, when journalists are pushy, we get labeled as tenacious. If non-journalists do the same thing, they're labeled as obnoxious. Oh, I don't know. I think the obnoxious label fits just fine. I still have to ask, why'd you do it? Question catches him off guard. Do what? Jump into the river after a little girl. Give your coat to a homeless guy. Runs a hand over his face, and you're surprised to see he looks iron. Who's asking? What do you mean? Ava the reporter, or Ava the human being. You expect his tone to get harsh, but instead he looks at you with the kind of smile you've ever seen him with. Because I definitely know which one I like spending time with. I should flirt, be honest and friendly, even the human being, be emotionally distant. Oh, blech. Be emotionally distant, I guess. 
You know, I'm finding it increasingly hard to believe your family's claim that you're just a regular heartthrob. That's... Exa they exaggerate. So you don't, um... How did your grandmother put it? Go through women faster than she goes through hemorrhoid medicine? Oof. No, no I do not. Why so interested, Ava? Why so reluctant, Moretti? Maybe I don't want my relationship history showing up on the 6 o'clock news. Don't be ridiculous. The America's Hero special will likely air at 8. Gotta make sure everyone's home on the couch or the housewives can swoon over you. Both stare out of the water, basking in another shared moment of comfortable silence before you say, You didn't answer my question, by the way, about why you jumped in that river. Caps his head back and laughs. You and I do a lot of that, don't we? Dodging each other's questions, answering with other questions. Part of the reporter thing, I guess. Well, I'm gonna keep it going because I have to ask, are you attracted to me? Moves closer, and by touching you, still pinning you against the railing, using his presence and body heat alone. I think the woman behind the reporter has pulled to me, just like the man behind the cop is drawn to you. Taking one last step, he closes the distance between you until your bodies are nearly pressed together. Or am I just crazy? Am I not crazy? I should... Fall back. Five step, patting his arm. The Statue of Liberty really gets you all sappy and romantic, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Like twitch of his lip tells you he's not done with you yet, but... Not by a long shot. Fine with me, Luke Moretti. I'm not done with you, either. Mm, wonderful lads. And with that being said, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And now, description below, links to social media, Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. And without further ado, you guys should head over to Twitch, which right now we are streaming Days Gone, and as well as Final Fantasy IX, Apex Legends, and so many other games. Oh, catch you all later. Peace!